Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how I set up my Alpha Breeze and put it back away in the stuff sack. So this tent is actually pretty easy to set up. It's definitely easier to set up with two people just because some of the components are pretty large, like the rain fly and some of the poles, but it can be done solo as well. I've done it a handful of times solo, but I can tell you guys it's a lot easier if you have the extra hands to help you with this one. So a lot of people actually ask me what footprint am I using with the Alpha Breeze? And this is it right here. It's just six mil black plastic sheeting. I got it from Lowe's. You'll get more than enough um, than you need for one footprint. But um, yeah, this is the original one I've been using since I got the tent. So if you choose to go this route, make sure that you cut your footprint slightly smaller than your tent. That way when it's raining out, the water sheds off your rain fly onto the ground, not onto your footprint. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and set up the tent. Um, it's a little bit windy out, so the tarp's blowing around. Sometimes you can just put rocks on the corners to hold it down, but um, in this case, it's not too bad, so we're just gonna go ahead and give it a go. So this is the first pole that you put in. Um, you just want to put, make sure you're paying attention to the color coordination here. So you want to put the blue tips in the blue sleeve. So this is the next pole you're going to be assembling. Um, it's a pretty large pole. So you want to make sure that no one or nothing's around that um, could get whacked by it. And I like to actually assemble both these poles at once. That way it's easier when I'm putting up the tent. You also want to make sure that you have these facing outside of your pole as well for staking. So another thing to pay attention to is they have stickers here. You want to make sure these are facing you when you're putting these in. So this next pull, um, it's definitely easier with two people as well, but um, basically what we do is we like to assemble it as we're feeding it through the uh, red sleeve. Yeah, again, whenever you have a large tent, it's always easier with two people to do it. Um, I've done this one a handful of times by myself and it's not too hard also. It's just nicer though. If you have the extra hands, make sure you use them for these larger tents. So I'm going to go ahead and put this side in first, and then we'll go ahead and get the other side. So now with the other side in, this side there's a little trick to it. If you just go ahead and try and put this in right now, 
it won't go in because there's too much of the pull on this side, you're gonna wanna go ahead and even it out. So what I do is I hold the sleeve, I push a little bit of the pull through, and then I go ahead and insert it in. So now we're gonna go ahead and put all the clips in and then we'll go ahead and throw the rain fly over. So putting the rain fly on is, honestly, it's really the hardest part to do if you're doing it by yourself. This one, you're really gonna want two people because it's so big, um, unless you just wanna like throw it on top of the tent, but it's just way easier with two people. Let me show you. At first, it's kind of tricky also to find out which side is the front and which side is the back. Um, it's, sometimes we still mess it up, honestly, actually all the time we do. and just have to switch it. It's not too hard to switch it around after it's on top of it, but just try and pay attention to the zippers because the front awning has two zippers and the back only has one straight down the center. That's kind of like a guide to be able to tell. Also pay attention to like the blue uh, webbing because that's how you'll know you're on the basically the corners of the tent, the front and back. So with the rainfly on now, we're gonna go ahead and clip in the rainfly into the tent. Also, there's a couple more Velcros inside that you'll wanna secure the fly to the pole. I think there is six of them total. So there's two on the sides uh, and two on the front. I'm gonna show you how to take the tent down. Um, normally I would stake it in, but I'm not actually spending the night here. But the way to do that is you actually wanna start from the corners first. So you'll do the front corner, then the back corner, front corner, back corner, side to side. And then you'll take out the front vestibule area, stake these both sides in first, and then the back. Make sure when you're staking these in, don't put too much tension on the fabric because you don't want to stretch it out or anything like that, but just enough where it's pulled in nicely. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take down the rain fly and take down the whole tent and put it back in the bag. Um, before you begin, make sure that you always close these vents. All right, so now with it pretty much the same width of the bag, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and roll it up. But you can see there's a lot of air here, so you wanna make sure that you get that out as you're rolling. Otherwise, it's not gonna fit in the bag correctly. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take down the poles and get everything put away. So also, when you're putting it away, make sure you unzip um, some of the zippers on the front and back. That way when you're rolling it up, all the air comes out a lot easier.
before we go ahead and fold it up and put it away, I like to make a couple adjustments to the fabric just to make sure I minimize the wrinkles on the tent. All right guys, so first we're gonna go ahead and fold this side in all the way parallel to where you see your blue and red markers. Make sure it's strained out as well. Then you're gonna go ahead and take the other side, do the same exact thing. And then you're gonna go ahead and fold it all together at once. So this next part's really easy. You just wanna make sure that when you're rolling it, you roll it up tightly. That way you don't have any trouble putting it away in your bag. So I want to go ahead and show you guys how I put everything away in the bag now that we have everything taken down. So first I like to start with the rain fly and make sure that's all the way down at the bottom and you kind of want to make it as even as you can with the bottom of the bag that way you don't run out of any room. You're going to want to grab your poles, put it directly on top. All right so with the tent rolled up now we're going to go ahead and put it in the bag and if you rolled it up tight enough it should actually go in pretty easily. Sometimes if you go a little bit quick or there's some air left in it, you might run into a little bit of trouble closing the bag. But right now I have it pretty much tightly rolled up. I could probably go tighter, but I don't really need to. So you're just gonna wanna go ahead and grab your corners of the bag, make sure it fits the corners of the tent perfectly. And then do the same for the other side. And then it should be easy to zip up. If it's not easy to zip up, um, I wouldn't force it because you could break your bag and you, and you really don't want to do that. Yeah. Alright, well that pretty much wraps it up for this one. If you're not already subscribed to the channel guys, consider subscribing down below. We cover a lot of high quality camping gear on here, so if you're into that, be sure to check out more of our videos. If you have any other questions, make sure to comment down below and we can always chat about it. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.